this name is quite new to me ah sham okay hi everyone good evening uh friends and family members of our ventros big family welcome to our wu meeting i think we will we were so thankful that this wu meeting continue on right because it has already helped a lot of our uh, our members and also our brothers and sister in ventures in this selling ministry helping people because since we cannot go out but thanks to the technology we are able to do a a Zoom meeting like this so actually we can share the good news share the good uh healing ministry through this book meeting uh. so thank thank you very much for the new technology and uh, i think a lot of people are learning new things myself for myself also uh and this covid thing is not going to i don't know how but i think we are going to uh take it into our life as a normal thing yeah i i think we have part of it uh. part of our life i have to get used to this thing and be very careful and uh, observe the sop as uh, usual because it's going to lock down and there just now from my friend from i think adelaide or something in australia they say the whole adelaide has been locked down let me check the whatsapp later i forgot in australia so i think uh, it's going here and there so i think it's going to be a very a new norm so we have to live with it okay So coming back to our topic today respiratory disease this is a very crucial thing especially uh, I have good news and also not so good news ah uh. for those people with young children suffering from asthma or this respiratory disease uh, I will say good news to you because they are still young their body condition is still good with the help of I'm laser they can re uh, recover ah uh. they can get recovery uh, I think as high as ninety percent. My son is one of them. My son has asthma. Uh, started with bronchitis, cough first, and then goes to bronchitis, and then later to asthma. And with the package of asthma, he also developed eczema together in a package. So, ah, uh, it's quite serious that we have. He has to use a special soap for bathing and a uh, cream. You know that's quite ah uh, very irritable, but ah. Uh, So lucky that he's still young, and ah uh, he has been using. I think ah uh, no, I think lah. It has been recovered ninety percent. Otherwise, every morning we'll you will see him. Ah uh, uh, also sinus. Okay, sinus is also one of the package. But ah uh, thank thank so thankful that no more asthma. Tak kalah sih ya, tak sure. No more asthma attack. Otherwise ah, uh, going back to I mean looking back. Uh, during the haze time, I have to run to the hospital. Ah, uh, every four four times a day. That's quite very tiring. Picking, sending him to the hospital for them nebulizer before he goes to school. Then picking up him from school and then go to the hospital queuing nebulizer again. That wah, it's quite a heavy one. Uh. So the doctor say might as well admitted lah. Uh. So ah, uh, every time the case come, we he has to be admitted. We have to admitted stay in the five star hotel lah. Uh. So that is a very ah uh, mental kang ah. No need to work already because of this thing ah. Uh. But without the nebulizer, he is very difficult for him. And then also the inhaler. So I'm so thankful that ah uh, he has recovered from the asthma and the sinus also recover. I I would say ninety percent. Okay, the eczema also getting better. No more eczema now. His skin is so nice. Ah, uh, so it, it is a very good news. But to why I say not so good news is those who have been have ah、uh, this asthma for quite some times. Maybe Mister Lee tonight will have a new remedy for you lah.、Uh. So stay tuned. Ah,、uh, that you if you want good news, I hope. That and I think Mr. Lee will have a good news、uh, to help you how to improve this、uh, asthma because we know that this disease will not be not be cured but it will be、uh, how to say in、uh, it will be lightened in the sense that、uh, the attack won't be so regular. Okay, so、uh, I'm sure a lot of our friends and family members and childrens have around us have this kind of problem. I think this is very very common. Ah,、uh, now, but I won't take up much of your time. But I will pass this time to Mister Lee, and then ah,、uh, do really stay tuned and、uh, find out how to help 
our friends, our family members. Okay, so I'll pass the time to you, Mr. Lee. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Okay, brother and sister in healing ministry. Eh? Okay, so tonight we are going to talk about this uh, respiratory disease. Uh, there is something related to our lung, uh, uh, especially uh, actually during this period, okay, COVID-19. So COVID-19 is one of the disease which will attack our lung also. But uh, Today, I won't uh, cover much on COVID-19 because COVID-19 is a type of virus which attacks us also. But in the overall, our respiratory disease, okay, cover uh, 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 one of the reasons uh, that have uh, all this uh, lung, lung problem or uh, is due to virus, okay. But beside that, they are still got uh, many types of uh, respiratory diseases. Okay, which uh, we will uh, have a, a brief, okay, on all these uh, respiratory diseases so that we have some knowledge on different type of it and then uh, what is the causes and then some of the symptoms and how to avoid it and how to use um, I'm laser and a company with our CVA, okay, how uh, the, the science behind, okay, which will help, huh? Uh, to improve the condition or to heal okay, so, uh, some of these okay, diseases and uh, maybe huh, uh, can delay okay, some of the uh, 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 diseases to become chronic. Okay, so uh, we, gain, we begin huh, with uh, some basic knowledge huh, uh, on the uh, lung first. Okay, before that, let me start slightly advertise okay, our I'm laser. Okay, so this is an, uh, 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 a picture, okay, uh, I can say an advertisement. If you like this advertisement, okay, you can get it from me, okay. It's talking about uh, charging your cells and enhance your health. Okay, so Chinese is a very good wording. So I translate into English. Uh, is according uh, accordingly uh, is uh, the meaning is charging yourselves enhancing your debt your health okay so for cva okay is a complete nutrients neurons uh, restore activate and regenerate self regain youthfulness and vitality okay so there will be some slogan uh, that you can use Okay, to make it sure, short and then to make it uh, simple for people uh, to remember. Okay, so uh, now we start uh, our topic tonight, respiratory diseases. Okay, so when we talk about all these lung problems, there are many types uh, of uh, lung disease. Okay, basically uh, they are uh, divided. Uh, they are also called lung disorder and pulmonary diseases. Uh. They include uh, like asthma, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, COPD, which is quite common and is a life-threatening disease. Pulmonary fibrosis and then uh, pneumonia, which is very common, and lung cancer. Okay, so today, because there are so many types, so today we will concentrate uh, only on pneumonia and asthma. Okay, and then we will uh, uh, lift uh, the other three ho, on the the other uh, the, the next next day ho, next uh, talk okay so uh, have a brief uh, knowledge on the lung ha. okay so actually our lung ha, are inside the uh, thoracic cavity ho, which are protecting uh, uh, the bone or is strongly built up and then protect the, the lung and our lung actually left and right ho, is not in the, uh, is not equal size one huh? So the right, the right side lung actually is bigger than the left side. Huh? Okay, I think it's uh, almost uh, 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 one third uh, bigger lah, huh? Okay, because the right, right, uh, right hand side lung actually there are three part, huh? uh, The top and then bot, uh, middle and then the uh, bottom part huh, of the lung. However, on the left hand side which uh, we need to give some room for the heart. Oh. That's why the left-hand side lung is slightly smaller. Okay, it's only divided into two parts. It's the up and lower part. 
okay and then uh in the uh, bottom uh, of the uh, uh uh lung okay uh we have our diaphragm which will control uh, when the diaphragm going up and down we will control the expansion and the contraction of your lung and how uh, control your ex exhale uh, exhale and inhale uh, of uh, oxygen okay so this is basically uh, the contraction of the lung uh, and then the lung is full of uh, uh, cells and then uh, uh, and then you full of uh, all the uh, small small capillary and then uh, the ping pong size uh, uh, what we call the alveoli uh, okay, inside the lung there uh, which performs all the uh, exchange of gas uh, inside our body and so the lung uh, is not uh, have to be protected because it's quite soft the tissue okay and then uh, the uh, the thoracic cavity uh, is uh, is uh, working uh, uh, as a protection okay against all the possible uh, action that will uh, cause injury to our lung okay so from here the whole system the respiratory system okay cover uh, from the nose and to the lung okay so from uh, uh, the uh, what we call the nasa cavity okay and then we go to our uh, these are pharynx and then larynx okay this is uh, where we uh, there is our throat there lah, huh? okay the upper portion we call the pharynx and then the slightly lower okay we call larynx okay where all uh, all these uh, organ okay and uh, include huh, uh, the uh, windpipe we call the trachea trachea and then after that uh, it branch out or uh, it's called the uh, bronchus and then further okay branch out or uh, small small bron uh, bronchus we call the bronchia okay and then this is the whole system and then the bronchia finally have uh, reach to the alveolus okay which control uh, the exchange uh, there are those are uh, tissue uh, look like a ping pong ball okay and then there are a lot of uh, capillary and then vein uh, inside there where we perform uh, the exchange of gas oxygen and carbon dioxide okay inside uh, in in that places so there are many together and this is the most important uh, 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 tissue or parts uh, inside the the lung which responsible uh, uh, for providing uh, uh, oxygen to us and to expel out uh, carbon dioxide from our body okay so uh, during the process when we uh, let's say we inhale uh, new air from through the uh, this uh, nasa cavity and then you go through the pharynx and then the larynx where uh, inside there uh, there will be uh, they will have uh, those uh, very fine uh, tissue line lining uh, which okay will protect us and then a lot of uh, these uh, uh, immune cells the white blood cells are uh, uh, will be there also okay to protect any okay bacteria virus okay and then uh all these uh, uh, uh any fungus okay that uh, will enter okay maybe through the air okay like dust or those so here they will uh there will be a lining huh, which will protect us protect all this okay from uh getting into the lung so easily so here normally if let's say we inhale too much of dust okay all this dust uh, will be uh uh stopped okay by all this uh the the fine lining okay in, inside there okay it looks like 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 hair also very very fine one okay so normally when there are too many dust coming out so we the lining how uh, will start to react and then it will uh, expel all this uh, uh unnecessary dust uh, uh, by uh let's say uh, uh coughing okay uh, what we call the uh, uh, screening okay out okay from your nose or coughing okay from your 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 throat okay out okay so that to prevent too much of unnecessary thing or to enter into our uh, respiratory system okay so in the windpipe there also it will secrete huh, uh, uh, some uh, mucus or uh, even the nose there also will secrete some uh, 
uh, uh, mucus uh, to really uh, trap all those bacteria, virus or uh, to enter uh, so that uh, it won't be so easily uh, attack our, our lung, okay, enter into our lung. Okay, so in this process, if there are too much of uh, pollutant outside, okay, through the air, and then the body uh, need to create too much of mucus, then it will uh, create all the frame, okay, then you will coughing, and then this is how, okay, uh, it happens. Uh, sometimes uh, there might be a fight huh, uh, in the throat there, whereby your, all your white blood cell okay, is fighting against all the bacteria, okay, virus, and then there are a lot of uh, uh, okay, killing okay, uh, of uh, germ and, uh, and your white blood cell there. Okay, and finally, huh, we have to expel all these things out through huh, coughing. Okay, that's why it creates coughing sometimes. Okay, especially during the season, huh, like uh, we have a, a virus like influenza or those uh, trying to attack us okay, during that, that period. Okay, uh, then uh, uh, what, what we call the flu uh, season huh, will start to come. Okay, then everybody huh, will easily get flu. And then, of course, sometimes some people, they might have uh, some problem uh, uh, on their immune system, okay, which will react or too much on all those things are coming in, and then all this or might happen or in your nose, okay, in your 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 what we call the uh, uh, nasa cavity there, and then it increase all the mucus uh, secretion, and then you might have sinus problem, okay, and then some okay maybe because of a uh, immune disorder, okay, it will react too much. And then you will cause coughing, okay, uh, for a very long time, cannot recover, okay. And then when they uh, uh, exposed to all the uh, pollutants, huh, okay, all those uh, dust, okay, or, or dirty things huh, from your acorn, okay, then easily huh, the reaction. And even sometimes if because of your immune system contraction on the windpipe, on your uh, bronchus and then your bronchia huh, will start to become uh, unstable and then it contract okay and then uh, the the release of uh, mucus so is too high and then it block okay the the airway okay so the airway become narrow and then how uh, the air cannot flow nicely in okay to the lung there okay and supply uh, all the air huh, uh, through your bronchia and then to the uh, the alveoli av av there, okay, for the exchange of gas, and then it start uh, uh, very difficult to exchange uh, the oxygen and the carbon dioxide, and then it will cause okay uh, pneumonia or asthma uh, to uh, trigger the asthma to attack you, okay. Once the asthma is attacking, asthma uh, is a type of uh, illness which will uh, make her. Uh, the difficulty how in the control of the bronchia, okay, and then the windpipe to contract, okay, uh, the, and then the expansion uh, is not that good, so seriously affect the wind, uh, the the oxygen, the gas pathway, okay, to uh, reach to the lung and uh, to perform uh, the oxygen exchange, and then finally you are uh, feeling how. Uh, like uh, cannot breathe nicely, okay, and then cannot get oxygen, and then uh, some even very serious, or uh, you uh, will get into coma or something like that, okay. So these are uh, the problem, okay. What is happening huh, when the uh, respiratory system of a lung or uh, having some problem, especially uh, affected, uh, infected huh, by uh, some. Uh, bacteria, virus, or fungi, or sometimes because of an uh, immune disorder, okay, it creates more okay, problem, okay? especially uh, those asthma, majority of the asthma are because of uh, immune disorder, okay, which cause uh, the contraction of the uh, bronchia huh, uh, to react too, too uh, uh, strong okay, until the pathway until the uh, the airway uh, cannot uh, really go through uh, so smoothly okay so from here from this diagram you can see 
okay from the nose and then you go in the 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 pharynx and then larynx and then you go in the bronchus and then it branch to the bronchia and then finally to the uh alveolus okay so inside the alveolus it look like this okay so there are a lot of uh a very fine uh, capillary outside huh, and then the vein outside also so uh, blood or uh, got uh, oxygen one uh, uh, all those are blood huh, uh, without oxygen or have oxygen one they are both huh, also inside the lung also uh, with the oxygen one okay the exchange huh, the the blood huh, uh, is pumping from your heart okay to the uh, the uh, what we call huh, uh, the lung okay without oxygen one so without the oxygen one here when we breathe in the oxygen will reach okay through the bronchia and then reach the area okay so the oxygen will enter or into the these are very very fine very small capillary and then inside there they are red blood cells so the oxygen will attach okay on the red blood cell and then travel together with the red blood cell and then after that huh, your, it will go into your heart and then your heart huh, will pump it out okay there is a oxy uh, there is a blood cell huh, which is full of oxygen or uh, will go uh, to the whole body and then supply the oxygen to all the cells inside the body okay so on the other hand when the the blood huh, is traveling back okay to our vein and then the vein huh, will uh, go back and then finally uh, those are carrying uh, carbon dioxide uh, uh, blood okay which are normally indicate uh, in uh, blue color one okay they will enter into the ovary uh, this uh ovary also and then there or carbon dioxide uh, will go out okay from the uh, uh vein and then enter into the ovary and then it will go back huh? Uh, through the bronchia and then going backward uh, to the bronchus and then your windpipe and then your rarex, parex and then your uh, nasa cavity and then you exhale it out okay so this is how the body exchange gas inside the body so in between if any part uh, or any uh, 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 small small vein or all these uh, small capillary uh, have some problem either block or because of the secretion of uh, all the mucus which uh, make uh, which narrow okay the airway or uh, to pass through then it will cause problem uh, to your respiratory system and then your exchange of gas uh, will have problem okay if it becomes too serious then uh, uh, pneumonia may uh, start to happen okay so normally pneumonia is caused uh, because of uh, inflammation or uh, in this uh, alveoli here all these are uh, like ping pong ball one uh, okay so at the end uh, we will reach here and then all the capillary is outside and then all the vein is outside also so the gas uh, will enter into here oxygen and then the carbon dioxide will go out here also so uh, pneumonia is an infection okay with one or both lungs okay it can be caused by bacteria I, or virus or fungi okay so pneumonia causes inflammation okay in the a sex in your lungs those all these are uh, round round one uh, okay all these like ping pong ball one uh, uh, we call the a sex uh, in your lung which are called the alveoli okay so the alveoli, alveoli uh, will fill with uh, flu or push uh, making it difficult to breathe so when uh, the the uh, too much uh, of uh, bacteria or uh, and then those unnecessary thing exist okay inside here and then it will cause okay the grow of bacteria virus and then it causes uh, fighting of white blood cell with the bacteria and finally uh, inflammation uh, is happening or uh, and then uh, the secretion the secretion of a uh, mucus uh, became higher and higher so the fluid uh, inside there have uh, become more and more and then this uh, finally make it a uh, very difficult to breathe okay so uh, pneumonia is because of this okay which normally we have a problem in breathing okay sometimes even will cause a uh, problem like uh, water retention uh, in the lung there and then uh, it causes a uh, very difficult to breathe uh, especially during the night
and normally finally you have to go uh, you have to go to the hospital or to get treatment otherwise it's quite uh, uh, dangerous also and then this type of uh, problem okay maybe uh, if uh, a pneumonia is because of bacteria virus and uh, fungi is happening okay inside the 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 the, the the lung there and then uh, maybe our immune system is acting and then is fighting with them and finally cause a lot of inflammation otherwise sometimes okay some problem on the heart uh, it will cause uh, difficult to breathe also it will cause uh, water retention inside okay the 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 the, the, the lung also because uh, all the blood okay inside the lung huh, uh, we have to flow uh, back to the heart and uh, pump it out uh, from the heart uh, and deliver out uh, to the whole body okay so that uh, all the cells uh, can get all the oxygen and then uh, the nutrient okay inside the blood uh, uh, effectively okay so if your heart what problem cannot pump nicely so all the blood uh, in your lung uh, cannot flow into your heart uh, nicely also and then uh, at the same time it will cause okay uh, a pneumonia problem okay water retention or uh, start to be uh, inside the, the lung also and then finally uh, uh, this kind of situation uh, will uh, trigger or induce the growth okay of certain bacteria okay or the virus or inside the, the lung okay and then it will make oh, the situation get worse and then inflammation start to happen and then from from uh, having noises okay when you breathe like <gasps> okay like a smile one, huh? uh, then if you got a uh, water inside huh? uh, you, you will, uh, uh, it will sound a bit a uh, difference uh, but it, it will create a very quite clear sound or if you are having this kind of problem okay and then uh, if let's say uh, the uh, inflammation getting worse sometimes the frame is very very thick and then you start uh, coughing a lot and very difficult to to uh, get rid uh, of the uh, all the frame okay and then you find uh, very difficult to breathe okay and then uh, this pneumonia uh, causes of uh, 15 percent of all the death of children under the year uh of uh how many are oh, here okay oh okay uh this uh during the year of 2017 15 percent huh, of the kids uh death okay there's total to uh eight hundred and eight thousand okay of the kids huh, uh die huh, in 2017 because of uh uh, this are uh, pneumonia a uh, problem especially like those africa okay uh, where uh, they, they they are not uh they are uh what we call uh, their uh, medical services uh, is not that complete and not that not good okay sometimes they cannot get vaccine also okay that's why uh, it causes a lot of death okay because they they, they come to uh, attack Okay, by certain virus or certain bacteria and cause some uh, chronic and uh, death uh, threatening illness okay so uh, pneumonia uh, can be caused by viruses bacteria or fungi so for COVID-19 uh, most of the uh, victim okay they they after they they, they are attacked uh, by COVID-19 finally they will die because of pneumonia also Okay, because of the uh, uh, finally the 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 lung uh, cannot function, and they need ventilator. Okay, and then uh, normally uh, uh, as far as uh, right now, uh, we can see that uh, uh, even like America, they are facing problem uh, on ventilator because there are too many people. Okay, uh, uh, getting uh, this uh, uh, COVID nineteen, especially now uh, almost uh, fourteen thousand cases per day okay and here actually we are talking about thousand huh? there they are talking about eight hundred and forty thousand uh, hundred and forty thousand per day okay so uh, if let's say 10 day you will be one million something already so the infection uh, is very very fast and then uh, 
if they didn't treat it well okay so uh, those elders those have problem with the lung one and those have problem with the heart one then they finally we have side effect or on the lung function and then they will cause a uh, pneumonia and then finally uh, the blockage or uh, copd or something like or the whole whole uh, lung or cannot perform the work or and then cannot breathe and then finally they die okay so to avoid and to fight huh, against pneumonia okay we need huh, to have a uh, uh, can be huh, pneumonia can be prevented lah, through immunization immunization okay so far there are so many types of bacteria viruses uh, uh, by vaccine okay uh, we can okay fight again is okay even though like COVID-19 maybe next year we should be able to get the vaccine or to fight against it okay adequate nutrition okay a uh, very good and very strong immune system will make sure you are you are protected and you are not huh, uh, invaded huh, by this uh, COVID-19 and by huh, dealing with uh, environmental factors okay because all these uh, lung problem the majority are huh, uh, uh, infected or uh, true okay uh, what we call the a okay true or the uh, how to say uh, the, uh, okay uh, the uh, the contact huh? so by washing our mouth washing our hand okay putting mask okay we can uh, actually uh, protected huh? at least or 70 percent huh, of the infection huh, of all these virus and bacteria okay so pneumonia caused by bacteria uh, in those uh, uh, kids uh, which are uh, they have uh, uh, hiv one okay and then uh, one third huh, of all these are uh, hiv kids uh, they die huh, because of pneumonia okay the infection of pneumonia so uh, it's like HIV, huh? uh, quite po very popular in uh, uh, this uh, Africa, USA, especially like Africa, even China, huh? part of the China, a lot of people also infected by HIV also. So here you can see huh? uh, there are many types of different uh, bacteria or viruses which cause huh? different types of uh, lung disease. Okay, and then the most common one is this three of all the for all the baby one huh? uh, this one uh, what we call the uh, uh, the common source uh, what we call the pneumocytis zero C. okay this type of uh, uh, bacteria okay is affecting huh, small kids and then cause death okay and then the second most common cause of bacteria huh? Uh, is called uh, is this HIB ho, a B type of uh, uh, flu ho, uh, uh, disease, and then the third type ho, is what we call the Streptococcus pneumonia. Okay, viruses. Okay, is one of the common virus, and then uh, the most common pathogen. Okay, causing virus, uh, viral uh, uh, this pneumonia okay and then this is one of it okay i don't know what is the name of it is a little bit this is a type of virus also but it's not covid eh? okay this is another type which is very common one okay they call the xin chai it's xin xia virus xin xia virus uh, i think this we have already developed a vaccine or to fight against it okay but uh, it still exists in the environment it's really especially during winter season like those european country they have to get vaccine or for flu and then these are uh, uh, maybe a type of uh, vaccine or that they have to they have to put on uh. so like malaysia we are still not that popular to get uh, all these uh, flu vaccine uh, every every year or two years like that uh and then uh in malaysia okay we are worried uh, one of the things we are worried one is this okay which cause pneumonia also which are uh, life threatening if did not treat it or uh, nicely we call the tuberculosis okay uh, normally we call it tb 
And then they have developed uh, into uh, uh, many types of TB now. Okay, those days uh, we, uh, we used to have a vaccine on TB and vaccine are almost disappear. Uh, no more exist, but uh, finally it changed. Okay, the virus changed and then now it developed into uh, B type, C type, or something like that. Huh? Okay, and then so uh, the H, uh, WHO. Huh? Uh, Saying that uh, uh, this uh, 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 tuberculosis uh, is one of the uh, public health crisis uh, and uh, uh, a very serious uh, security threat also. And then in Malaysia, uh, is quite uh, I have seen how uh, quite a number of people they they get this uh, tuberculosis. Uh, disease also, even though uh, it can be cured by uh, using medicine, uh, but it will bring uh, um, damage to the lung also. Okay, so we have to be careful, and then uh, there are vaccine coming out. If you didn't take, uh, didn't uh, get uh, protection uh, from the vaccine, okay, uh, you you can consider okay to take vaccine on this, okay, because so far we have seen a lot of uh, people from Bangla. Okay, from uh, all this, uh, maybe Sri Lanka, okay, they are bringing, okay, uh, some of this uh, lung disease, yeah. okay, yeah. to Malaysia. So we have to be careful. This is uh, TB, and then it uh, uh, will bring her uh, death if it didn't treat her uh, nicely. So other causes, okay, mm. other uh, lung disease, which will cause pneumonia also, include uh, asthma. Chronic obstructive or pulmonary diseases (COPD), which are we are going to talk later. Pulmonary fibrosis, and then lung cancer. So, uh, we will talk a, a little bit uh, on asthma, and then we can we we, we carry on with uh, 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 the way uh, the precaution step that we can take, and then how I'm laser and CVA uh, can help us. So the third and up to the number two, number three, number four, we'll uh, talk about it uh, uh, next week. Okay, so asthma. Okay, asthma is a medical medic condition that causes uh, breathing difficulties. Then this, this difficulties is resulted uh, from your airways or uh, narrowing and swelling. Okay, so it's slightly uh, different from uh, the common uh, uh, new, uh, this uh, new, uh, pneumonia, okay, which uh, because of the uh, uh, what we call uh, bacterial infection. Huh? Okay, this uh, uh, many type of uh, reason which will cause narrowing and swelling huh, of your airways. Asthma also leads to the production of mucus in your airways. Asthma causes wheezing, shortness of breath, and coughing. Okay, so the symptom you will see uh, is more like uh, uh, pneumonia also, but uh, asthma, uh, when uh, in the very beginning, uh, when you start to attack, or uh, you will get into very serious condition, and then all the serious symptoms of it comes up, okay, and then uh, the uh, wheezing, okay, shortness of breath and coughing, uh, uh, will uh, will be uh, severe, okay, and then uh, it will cause her. Uh, uh, you need to uh, sometimes uh, need an inhaler, okay, need the medication or uh, to expand. Or your or your bronchia, your bronchus, or your what? Or this a uh, windpipe? Okay, so uh, they there are different types of asthma according to their severity. Okay, the classification. Okay, so we have uh, frequent and then a limitation of physical activities. Okay, and then uh, frequent uh, and then it comes to an everyday attack. Okay, exacerbation. Uh, affect activity and sleep also as well uh, more than once per week uh, okay and then 60 to 80 percent of predicted variability of uh, more than 30 percent so the mild persistent one of uh, symptoms more than once a week but less than once a day okay so more than twice a month at least twice a month okay more or equal to 30 percent of predicted variability 20 to 30 percent and then uh, finally the intermittent okay which are quite serious one okay they need uh, uh, less than once a week 
okay brief uh is this is separation okay ventilation lung okay functions between her attack is normal okay uh, need to use our ventilation huh? not more than twice a month uh, not less than uh, 80 percent predicted variability less than 20 percent okay so this uh, uh the classification of asthma severity okay according to the uh the the frequent of the attack okay and then uh, how often and then how severe when it attacks okay so this is what happened when uh, asthma is attacking okay uh, due to many reason okay there is contraction or inside the uh, the bronchia bronchus and the windpipe uh. okay so the uh, bronchia asthma which affect uh, the bronchia in the lung okay there are many types uh, you can see from here okay uh, this is uh, the, the the bronchia okay and then uh, if when we call bronchia asthma is uh, those things like change of uh, temperature okay change of uh, environment okay uh, for example allergic uh, for example like uh, 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 what we call occupational asthma is due to her certain chemical that you inhale okay or maybe the dust or maybe the environment got certain pollutant okay which you inhale and then it causes asthma every time you go and work you will have asthma attack we call it occupational asthma okay and then uh, aspirin induced asthma when you take aspirin or uh, the aspirin will affect okay contraction of the all these bronchial bronchus to happen and then it block her huh, it make the huh, uh, airway huh, become very narrow or sometimes it might huh, uh, cause uh, 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 swelling huh, on the bronchial there and then some people they might have allergic asthma okay allergic to certain things okay the food that you eat okay maybe uh, the dust okay that uh, enter and then your uh, immune system is not that stable or some or uh, anything or uh, slightly things going into your body okay due to the immune immune disorder okay it happened uh, to trigger the asthma and then the contraction uh, of your bronchia uh, is uh, begin to happen the uh, the uh, airway uh, on your 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 a pipe uh, the wind pipe uh, we call the wind pipe also get uh, uh, con contract okay narrow and then finally uh, get very difficult to breathe in okay so nocturna asthma is a type of uh, asthma which normally happen in the night due to the uh, temperature or uh, cold temperature it will cause okay or sometimes a hot temperature uh, will lead to it also uh, because and then some people after exercise uh, it will induce uh, this uh, bronchial constriction okay eib uh, okay to happen and then uh, this type of uh, uh, people okay uh, they are not allowed to carry out a very uh, heavy exercise okay which will induce okay their asthma and then finally cough variant asthma uh, the asthma which are caused by uh, because of coughing okay start to begin and then finally it uh, uh, affect uh, the nervous system and then uh, maybe uh, uh, the uh, in, inner secretion system okay which uh, finally uh, it didn't perform nicely and then uh, it secret too much of mucus or maybe uh, the uh, the nervous system uh, is not uh, communicate nicely contracting uh, uh, the uh, uh, contraction uh, of all the uh, uh, cells or the uh, pipe uh, okay all the all these are when uh, bronchias to happen and then it cause the airway or uh, to to block okay so from here you can see okay mostly most of the uh, asthma problem they are basically even though uh, uh, even uh, now okay it is not easy to fight against asthma especially those who develop uh, uh, after okay they grow up okay for those who are still uh, they start out uh, to have asthma during their kids 
sometimes okay because you can see from here there are so many a uh, type of uh, asthma okay maybe how oh, you are uh, part of it okay uh, for example some of it maybe how oh, uh, the development of the uh, 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 your your neural system is not that stable oh, when you are still kids or okay the uh, contraction oh, and then all this uh, function uh, of all the tube okay is not that stable yet or sometimes even your immune system is not stable it's not strong yet then it causes okay to uh, to develop okay the asthma problem okay finally when you grow up when you're getting stronger when you go for exercise and then you develop huh, a better immune system a more stable nervous system your hormone system and then you regain huh, your vitality and then uh, uh, what we call the strength okay and then the restoration of all the cells energy and then finally you you get back a very strong and stable lung and then slowly how oh, your asthma will go off okay and then uh, maybe oh, uh, some even it can uh, 100% heal okay if in this type this type okay some we can see okay uh, uh, they maybe uh, will have some uh, weaknesses on the dna of the lung cells or some may have okay in the overall okay uh, on the uh, uh, for example the energy sites of the lung okay and then the uh, all the cells are in the lung there or the 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 atp production the energy production of the lung cell is not that strong they okay, due to or many other reason for example sometimes my because of dna okay uh, or sometimes because of uh, uh uh maybe how oh, you are not that strong okay in terms of uh, uh nutrient oxygen supply okay inside the body because uh, uh low in uh red blood cell or something like that okay which will cause okay finally uh the lung cell to become weak also and then this finally cause asthma or uh, and then during your you you grow up okay and then uh, the uh, uh lung and then the con condition, the overall condition didn't improve nicely. And then your lung huh, still huh, not that strong yet. And then finally, uh, it will huh, uh, uh, re-attack you. Okay. If uh, sometimes when we are getting too tired, when your immune system is getting lower, okay, you are not that energetic, your energy or huh, inside the lung cells in the whole body is getting low, your immune getting low, then asthma will get her back and then attack you again. So sometimes some people will ask why, okay, some people are after using eye laser or after treatment, they get, uh, get into normal, they are get rid of asthma already, okay, and then it didn't huh, uh, re-attack them anymore, okay, once they grow up. But some, uh, it will attack maybe uh, after a few years or uh, they thought uh, they have already recovered uh, from the asthma. But finally, after a few years, it happened again. This is the reason behind because sometimes you are not that strong enough, okay, when, okay, your whole, the overall performance of your body, okay, the overall immune system, uh, the energy level goes down, then it will induce, trigger, Okay, the happening of uh, the uh, uh, asthma again. Okay, so to avoid this, oh, we must make sure or oh, all the time we are in a, a very good shape, okay, in very good condition. Our energy level is good, our sleeping, our uh, eating, all those, uh, we are not obesity, our blood pressure is in good condition, we don't have a very high glucose level, all this condition, if you can maintain in a very good way, okay, of course, you will, you will be able to minimize or even uh, heal, okay, your asthma problem, okay. So sometimes, uh, when, uh, when you're getting weak or you, you get coughing and then this coughing will induce, okay, it will trigger the asthma also because you are, you are weak already, okay. So the most common symptom of, of asthma, okay, we can see here is wheezing 
or squealing or whistling sound make when you breathe. Okay, so uh, especially like small kids, huh, you can hear okay, uh, when they breathe, okay, when they have problem, uh, you can easily hear the very loud sound. Huh? And for some problem, for some from people who have heart problem, huh? okay, when the heart oh, is not doing well, when they are uh, really, very tired or the heart oh, is not pumping very good, okay, uh, water retention or start to happening or in the lung okay you can hear very clear uh this kind this type of uh, sound also for example like for me i'm a, a heart patient or uh, uh operated uh, uh, for more than 15 years already okay uh, by uh, this uh, bypass operation uh, so this uh, symptom which uh, uh we will very very careful once we hear some sounds okay coming out from our breathing okay that is the time uh, we have to go uh, go and look for doctor or we have to take or uh, some uh, make sure we are taking enough okay medication which uh, will help her uh, uh, to release water to reduce water retention uh, so that her water retention is not happening and then we need to get her proper rest to uh, make sure our heart huh, uh, is not over exhausted okay and then uh, after maybe one two day if the sounds are is going off uh, then maybe okay we will not going go to the hospital and if it go worse and then finally you find start to have a problem in uh, breathing when you sleep or you need to uh, use more pillow when you sleep and then there's the time okay you have to go and see a doctor already okay so number two coughing especially at night when laughing or during exercise so for asthma patient normally uh, the the problem or uh, they can't go for daily uh, exercise because most of the asthma patient after exercise or uh, uh, they will start to have coughing and then uh, it will trigger uh, the contraction uh, of all the uh, bronchia and then they will find difficult to breathe uh, and then sometimes if suddenly uh, too heavy exercise and then the sudden sudden attack is happening okay even cannot breathe and then have to admit to hospital uh, okay so number three shortness in of breath okay of course uh, if swelling is happening in the bronchia bronchus okay in the a uh, the, this windpipe okay of course uh, the airway uh, and then contraction may happen the airway will, will block huh? and then you find very difficult to breath and then shortness of breath will happen difficulty on talking anxious uh, anxiousness or panic okay then once it attack her huh, emotionally you will be affected also you'll get her huh, very anxiety okay and then you get scared panic and don't know what to do and then finally huh, you lost control and sometimes and then some people, oh, they might face oh, very, very tired fatigue. Oh, serious fatigue is happening for asthma. Or oh, once it attack after attack, oh, normally you feel very, very tired. One. Okay. So what trigger? So make sure oh, you uh you you try to avoid oh, if uh, you are having oh, all these things which will tra trigger your asthma attacks. Oh, okay. Number one is sinus infection so try huh, not to get flu okay not to get a uh, uh, this are uh, cool uh, uh, cooler huh? make sure you wear your shirt uh, in a uh, don't go don't uh, go under huh, very low temperature environment huh? and then number two if you got allergies okay please okay especially during this time huh, wear your mask okay and uh, understand uh, what are the things that uh, you're allergic to like pollen somehow maybe the dust okay coming out uh, from the acorn okay make sure okay you take precaution step okay and not expose to all these things which will cause okay allergics to attack okay the immune disorder uh, will happen and then it will trigger okay the asthma so tobacco smoke okay mostly they are not they are very sensitive to this okay so try to avoid or uh, to 
be with uh, those people who are smoking all the time uh, at your side okay when they are there okay try to avoid uh, uh, standing or talking to them uh. okay pet hay or, or dander okay and then uh, these are common especially you go to friend's house where if they are uh, they have a pet so uh, like cats or dogs okay try to prevent that or uh, by uh, using a mask okay dust okay uh, then this acid reflux okay acid reflux if you have uh, some problem on your stomach okay you have gastric problem okay the acid reflux will re induce okay we trigger how your asthma also physical exercise just already mentioned if you are sensitive okay to it please okay do not huh, uh, uh, go for uh, very heavy exercise and then some uh, uh, medicines okay if you know which type of medicine you are allergic to please okay let your doctor know that before they prescribe or uh, any uh, medicine for you okay bad weather such as uh, a thunderstorm or high humidity uh, humidity uh, uh, these are bread breathing or uh, in cold dry air okay so you must know all the environment condition which will trigger your asthma one try to avoid her uh, to be in this kind of environment foods okay the food that we we, we we took okay some people they might sensitive to to meal okay uh, to uh, some of the uh, uh many seafood food or and many other things which are you need to understand and know in beforehand okay so that how uh, you won't accidentally or uh, take all this kind of food and then finally it trigger your asthma attack Okay, and then some of those who are sensitive to food additives, okay, uh, there are uh, quite a number of people, okay, they are sensitive to this. So you need to know whether, okay, you are exposed to this kind of uh, dangerous things or not. Fragrance, okay, some even fragrance, uh, too good the smell and too bad the smell, okay, sometimes will trigger or their asthma. So sometimes you must understand whether you will be triggered or by all these smells, okay, and try to avoid, or if you knew that you are sensitive to it, okay. So what happened? So for those who are severe uh, asthma attack, okay, uh, they have to huh, normally uh, really carry uh, uh, inhaler, which uh, uh, they have to pump the medication into uh, uh, to the uh, the resp respiratory system, so that the expansion of all the uh, windpipe bronchia bron bronchus okay uh, will relieve okay the difficulty huh, in breathing okay. So what happened? Uh, if let's say you you forgot or to carry your inhaler, and then uh, maybe how you see someone who got asthma attack, and then you are you you are trying to help them, okay? What you should do, okay? These are the common things you should do, and then you can do. Of course, if they are carrying inhaler, okay, get help them to get the inhaler, okay? Because the inhaler, the medication, uh, will very fast release and then relax the contraction of all the windpipe. Okay, and then the bronchia, and then the bronchus. So the expansion will uh, relieve, okay, the difficulty of breathing. But what happened if they forgot, okay, to carry their inhaler? You can't get inhaler. Okay, these are the six steps uh, that you must remember. Okay, okay, try to help them. Okay, to sit upright, stop whatever you are doing, and sit upright. Okay, whatever you are doing, once you feel that the asthma is attacking you, please. Okay, put down everything and then sit down directly, okay, upward, okay, taking a long deep breath, okay, this will help to slow down your breathing and prevent uh, this hyperventilation. So in asthma, the most uh, worried thing is uh, the, the, the occur of uh, this hyperventilation. That means you breathe very fast, okay, inhale, outhale very fast, but uh, no no oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide uh, is uh, exchanged inside the the, the uh, uh, what we call the lung there, and finally, uh, uh, the 
uh, supply of oxygen or get lower and lower in in the body or sometimes it might cause some problem on the brain okay some even uh, may lead to uh, uh, what we call a coma and then some uh, might okay lead to so all those problems okay so we must avoid uh, the happening of hyperventilation okay so to avoid this or uh, is to uh, one it is not uh, uh, get into very worse condition or uh, you must take very long deep breaths control your breath deeply okay and then how uh, this will slow down your breath breathing okay and then it will prevent okay this to happen the hyperventilation okay and then stay calm okay get away from the trigger if anything trigger you for example uh, like uh, the, the the smell or maybe uh, pollen or those uh, or dust uh, in the area to cover up your 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 nose with a mask or something like that or to run away from the place okay which trigger you okay and then take a hot okay caffeinated beverage or uh, take a hot water or hot coffee okay uh, those things contain uh, caffeine one uh, which will help uh, uh, to relax your windpipe your bronchia and then your bronchus so that the the airway uh, can be opened up slowly okay and seek emergency medical help okay of course if you are helping someone uh, please uh, call the ambulance or when you start how uh, to do all these steps to help him okay you call uh, uh, the necessary assistant from other uh, uh, expert or or medical uh, uh, people okay so that uh, once if the uh, the the problem uh, get worse or uh, then you can be in time okay to get the help uh, from all the uh, professional okay from those uh, medical team okay so these are the few things which uh, you are supposed to do uh, so remember when asthma attack please okay sit down upright and then slowly uh, make deep breath okay use uh, what we call the abdominal breathing technique okay to slow down your breathing stay calm Okay, get away from the trigger. Okay, after you get uh, slightly better, if the trigger uh, is coming from smell or the environment, please avoid her uh, and then go away. Okay, from the environment, take a, a hot caffeinated uh, beverage if possible. Okay, to slow down. Okay, to uh, uh, open up uh, your your airway. And then, if of course, if you got an inhaler or uh, uh, the very first uh, action that we attack, okay, is to slow down, sit upright, and then use your inhaler or to pump, okay, your medication. Okay, so if uh, it didn't release yet, uh, please call, get emergency call, 999, okay, to get uh, attention from a medical department. Okay, so this is uh, what we uh, need to know slightly, huh? Okay, when we see some somebody, okay, we saw somebody uh, having this asthma attack, uh, that we can help, okay, to make a call, okay, to help them to quote, calm down, okay, relax, deep breath, okay, provide them with a uh, hot drinks, okay, especially hot coffee or something like that, then seek emergency call. Okay, so this uh, COPD will cause a uh, uh, a problem also uh, sometimes it will lead uh, uh, it will lead to uh, uh, this uh, uh, asthma also okay if you have asthma one later on if you produce okay uh, COPD uh, having COPD it will uh, trigger your asthma getting your asthma or uh, getting worse and then uh, sometimes when you have uh, what we call lung cancer fibrosis Okay, in between, it will pro produce uh, all the uh, pneumonia effect, okay, all the symptoms to show you, okay, uh, there is something wrong with the lung and need your special attention to go for further checking with the doctor. Okay, so we will talk about uh, fibrosis and then cancer of lung uh, later on also. Okay, so the risk factor involved in pneumonia, 
okay number one uh, of course is a bad lifestyle especially smoking drinking okay and then uh, 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 very bad uh, eating heavy okay especially like uh, you are having uh, obesity taking too much of uh, oily things which are build up very high cholesterol all this or uh, will narrowing your your uh, all these are bronchia okay and then uh, bronchias and then sometimes uh, it might affect how uh, your your what we call the uh, immune system also okay especially like smoking it will directly uh, affect the function and all the cells or uh, inside the lung there or uh, it will damage the lung cells seriously and it will cause uh, all the uh, lung problem okay number second is your age okay so for those who are above 65 years old okay uh, very easily how you get uh, this uh, pneumonia your family history okay whether you are genetically or having some problem in the lung okay lung is not strong or because of your asthma okay problem and then when you get old okay your asthma might attack you again because of your poor uh, condition of your health okay uh, very poor uh, this uh, immune system okay all this uh, family history genetic uh, problem uh, when you reach the age of 65 and above okay you might have a uh, very high risk okay on pneumonia on your lung problem okay of course number three free radical attack oxidation of cells and inflammation is happening very often okay that means all the uh, bad lifestyle and then uh, uh, the way uh, whether you sleep properly okay all this will uh, induce the creation of free radical which will okay uh, increase free radical attack on the cells especially or uh, if what is happening uh, like for example smoking how uh, will increase the free radical okay to attack your lung cells okay and then sometimes uh, maybe uh, infection by bacteria or those virus which uh, will cause inflammation to happen okay and furthermore uh, sometimes uh, uh, liquor okay which will burden your your liver function also and then your blood uh, become uh, the viscosity is higher and then finally your your free radical will be higher and then it will affect the performance uh, of the lung also okay and then the cells or have very low cell energy okay that's why uh, uh, it, it didn't uh, create sufficient atp okay the energy level uh, inside the cells is low especially the lung cells and then uh, the immune immune system okay the protection against okay the attack of a bacteria is getting low also because your white blood cell might be uh, uh, low in volume low in uh, uh, energy as well okay so very poor blood circulatory system uh, involve your blood uh, circulation system and then sometimes uh, uh, your 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 uh, what we call the uh, lympha system or uh, is a type of circulatory system also when you have poor blood circulation or uh, you might affect your lympha system also which uh, is uh, in charge or uh, is uh, responsible uh, to flush out uh, uh, is the pathway uh, for all the water okay to flush out and then all the ways uh, to flush out uh, uh, through the lympha and then through and then uh, it enter to our blood system enter our uh, and then expel it out uh, through our uh, lung uh, kidney and then the liver system okay so a poor blood circulatory system lympha system okay, may lead to uh, 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 pneumonia symptoms also okay underlying lung diseases just now i already mentioned if you have uh, all those uh, lung diseases like lung cancer life fibrosis all this very system you may uh, uh, have uh, all this uh, pneumonia uh, 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 problem also Okay, so in order to to avoid huh, the happening of pneumonia and then to uh, to avoid huh, the attack of uh, asthma or as well I told you earlier uh, we can see here 
uh, you need a very very strong immune system uh, on the on the first hand okay to handle okay the attack of bacteria virus and infection okay and then fungus okay uh, to avoid her huh, uh, this infection to happen and inflammation to happen and which will induce a secretion of uh, mucus okay which will block okay and then inflammation may swelling huh, the windpipe bronchia and then bronchus and cause okay the air flow huh, to become narrowing or uh, and then uh, the air path will become narrowing and swelling and cause the airway huh, to be blocked and then cannot uh, perform nicely and then exchange of gas huh, cannot be carried out huh, nicely okay so here in Ventros actually we recommend huh, the use of lime laser and cva to help huh, to prevent especially prevention is better than cure okay from here you can see if we want to have a very strong uh, uh, lung okay or a very strong lung system okay uh, number one of course we need to have a, a smooth blood circulation that is the the most basic things for any organs any cells okay inside our all all the uh, system or inside the body okay so respect respiratory system uh, is one of them also which okay we need a lot of fresh blood supply huh? all those small small capillary huh, attached to the alveoli is very uh, important in the exchange of uh, the nutrient oxygen carbon dioxide okay and then huh, uh, to provide all these things to the cells in the whole body Okay, so if we want to have a very strong uh, this uh, lung cells, of course, we, we need to uh, have a very good pulmonary uh, circulation okay, in the lung there itself. So the lung uh, will get oxygen and then nutrient uh, sufficiently so the lung cells can be repaired, restored and uh, regenerate uh, in a very good way. Uh, because actually the lung cells uh, will take uh, maybe uh, around four to six months uh, uh, to grow back what well, is quite easy huh? quite strong uh, our lung actually it will change huh? quite fast the cells there okay so uh, number one is to make sure you have a very smooth blood circulation uh, to supply oxygen and then the nutrient huh, to the lung and then to other cells or inside the body and then number two of course okay uh, just now we already mentioned oxidation is happening very radically Free radical is attacking the lung cells sometimes when in inhale, okay, a special polluted air which will create, okay, uh, especially when in the process of inhale, outhale, okay, it will create a lot of free radical, okay, which will attack our lung cells also. So antioxidant is essential, sub or oh, these substances okay antioxidant substances is very very important in protecting all the lung cells from the attack of all the free radical that produce okay during the process uh, of uh, 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 this uh, breathing exchange of oxygen okay creation of all the energy okay so number three of course we need to have a, a very proper sleep uh, uh, no no Okay, we need to have a proper and then well balanced nutrients to supply, okay, to all the cells, uh, uh, not only in the lung there, uh, actually in the whole body, okay, any part of the body that uh, where the cells exist, the cells need uh, oxygen and nutrient uh, to become the source of energy, okay, for the repair, restore, and regenerate of all the cells. Okay, so we combine CV8, okay, uh, in the use of healing, okay, in, in protecting uh, and prevent the lung disease. So because CV8 uh, contain a lot of high quality, okay, and complete nutrient, which will neuros, okay, which uh, will help uh, uh, to repair, restore, and then regenerate cells. Okay, and then uh, this ginseng oxide and then all the uh, antioxidant property substances provided by CVA, okay, uh, from the source 
first uh, uh, these are sipaton aronia fruits and then pro programmated okay fruits and then from this uh wow ginseng okay stem cell wow ginseng stem cells uh all these uh, phytochemicals what we call the ginseng oxide which are very very strong antioxidant property and then it provide uh, all the uh, essential uh, uh, amino acid essential fatty acid uh, that we need and okay. include all the vitamins and then the minerals that uh, all the cells will need uh, in the production of uh, energy and in the process of repairing restoring all the cells function okay so provide uh, very balanced and complete nutrient uh, is very important in preventing lung disease. Okay, so we recommend the use of CVA. Okay, and then of course, we need to have a proper sleep, okay, and then a proper rest to allow uh, the body to healing itself because uh, the, the body uh, have the system of healing itself. Uh, we call the inner doctor okay which need the cooperation and then the coordination from all the system include okay our blood circulation system our tissue our organ systems and then uh, all the uh, what we call the uh, nervous system or hormone system to work or hand in hand in order uh, to let us uh, to have a very good and sound sleep during the night so that we have a very good rest uh, in the night, during the night when we have good sleep, okay, the secretion of the hormones inside the body, the growth hormone from the pituitary gland, or will induce, okay, the creation of the all the growth factor from your liver, which will uh, work together, coordinate with the stem cells or uh, inside our body or uh, to regenerate new cells. These are very important steps uh, that we need to help okay if we want to uh, what we call reheal our body during the night so the use of the stem cells or uh, can be uh, 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 can be enhanced by the use of the light and uh, the uh, uh, com component uh, the substances or uh, in the cva okay all the uh, ginseng oxide the essential uh, substances okay contained or uh, inside the cmc Okay, the ginseng, wow ginseng, stem cells, uh, 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 what we call the uh, phytochemical, okay, which will help, okay, uh, very much in the repair and then uh, regenerate, induce the use of stem cells inside the body, okay, to make new cells in the body. So, or uh, the the dead cells will be expelled out and the new cells will be generated through the coordination between the or the growth factor and the stem cell inside the body and this uh, can be done uh, uh, by the combination of the use of i'm laser and cv8 together okay and then of course uh, with a very good sleep and then very good communication because of the enhancement strengthening of the uh, what we call the uh, nervous system in the body so the communication inside the body or from your brain up to this your your system to your cells uh, to your organs to your cells is uh, uh, well organized and communicated okay so the function can be carried out uh, in a very harmony and balanced way okay so this uh, will wake up okay a very strong immune system in your body beside that okay cva uh, uh, will have ginseng oxide which uh, will give very strong impact on the production of blood or uh, not only the red blood cell or uh, also strengthening the white blood cell which will give you a strong immunity okay and then the light also uh, uh, will uh, increase the production of all the energy uh, in the white blood cell and then it increase the activity of all the nk cells which uh, indirectly uh, or directly uh, uh, become the protector inside the body especially against infection or cancer cells okay so finally maybe you need uh, a little bit of appropriate muscle or breathing training okay so to strengthen your lung disease so in the use of i'm laser also uh, sorry uh, this is not uh, 
Okay, these are the exercise. Okay, which you can carry out. Okay, uh, to strengthen. Okay, uh, uh which uh normally huh, are doing a uh, in a very smooth, uh pace okay which will try to avoid uh, uh too uh a strong exercise which will induce your asthma if you have asthma so when you carry out all this exercise or uh, you must uh, see what is your condition so that how uh, you can do this all this exercise or you can do in the morning or before you sleep or even or uh, some other or uh, this are uh, for especially like those having abdominal problem one, or like uh, you have period problem, your protest, uh, process, uh problem, you can use uh, this type of uh, exercise. For uh, specially designed to uh, strengthen your lung one, okay, these are the poses, okay, the yoga poses uh, to improve your lung function one. Uh, number one is the bridge, okay, so you can do that, okay, your cat crawl, uh, your cat crotch okay this one huh, is to uh breathe in and breathe out okay nicely okay a full breath and then a harder one is a downward facing dog okay uh, where you can see normally the dog huh, like to do this uh, stretching one okay it's a very good stretching but you need a, a little bit of uh, training okay maybe you can do number one and number two first later on when you have the strength okay you can start to do number three and then of course number four the view pose uh, there is more uh, difficult uh, maybe how you can do the facing dog or the copra pose number five which is uh, 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 compared to number four is a bit uh, easier that you can practice on. so you can pr practice okay when you do this, oh, wearing your your arm laser oh, on your wrist, and then uh, oh, to to do the uh, exercise, and then you can practice some breathing technique also. Okay, so this is a very very uh, important technique. I hope you can uh, learn it up, and then you tr uh, try to uh, practice it as frequent as possible, or every day, or maybe a few times. You can practice every time, or so you practice five to ten minutes. Okay, you can practice on many times or any time when you do your arm laser, okay, uh, with the, the NASA, okay, on when you lie down, you can do, okay, this abdominal breathing technique, okay, which uh, your breathing how will be controlled by your diaphragm, or that means when you inhale, your diaphragm huh, will go down and out, so your tummy huh, will go out. Okay, when you inhale, so you will give a bigger room for your lung to expand so that you can inhale more air into the lung. So uh, after that, when you exhale, okay, then you uh, squeeze your abdominal and then so your diaphragm will go up and then uh, it will contract, okay, your lung and then it will push all the air all the air, uh, all carbon dioxide uh, through an exhale, exhalation. Okay, so by doing this, you will, uh, you are doing a very deep, okay, uh, deep breathing, okay, which a lot of oxygen will go in and uh, most of the oxygen will press it out, okay, from your body. So your, the air, okay, in the lung can be exchanged in a very good way. So more oxygen will go into your body and then, uh, through the, uh, exchange of, uh, gas all this oxygen or can be carried out can be carried to the cells and then your cells will get more okay oxygen so that uh, production of uh, energy will be better inside the body okay so by practicing okay so normally we will combine okay so we will start uh, do some uh, uh, meditation together with uh, abdominal breathing uh, to start it with and then after that We'll do a few yoga pose, okay, breathing. After that, we go back to breathing technique again. And then with lying down position, maybe we will use I'm laser again, okay, on the wrist and then on the nose or on the, uh, uh, the forehead there, okay, uh, so that uh, to relax our body, okay, and then to let the body uh, touch with uh, all the uh, uh, this uh, laser uh, photon. Uh, so that uh, the photon will be delivered to the whole body in a better way.
Okay, beside that, okay, that is put on your wrist, put on the nose. Okay, using the NASA, you can have uh, some target point also if you want to do the target point. Okay, the first one, okay, is target point on the back, the back spine. Okay, uh, which uh, control the lung one. Uh, this um, uh, what we call uh, which part already? Uh, how I'm going to? Okay, uh, that is the ta uh, zui the the part uh, this part uh, is very uh, the, uh, a very big bone here one. Okay, I think uh, it's around three finger down. Okay, down the bone there. Okay, three finger down. This is the uh, the place huh? Uh, we call the fei yu, uh, which control the function of your lung, okay, which is the uh, meridian, uh, we call the tu mai, uh, okay, it's here, okay, this is the back, okay, from here, uh, there are nervous system, okay, the neuron, uh, which will control the function uh, of the uh, lung, okay, so you can put it here, okay, if in front, okay, it will be, uh, uh, slightly, I think, uh, maybe two fingers up, huh, uh, uh, in the, uh, center of your nipple. Okay. Two finger up. Okay. Slightly up a little bit. Okay. It's very close to your heart also, which we will, will huh, quite, uh, not huh, so recommended or to use in front because we don't encourage you to use the arm laser too close to your heart one, huh? Sometimes it will huh, bring, uh, uh, effect uh, on the heartbeat which you will feel uh, sometimes not so comfortable one. so it's still encourage her to use at the back uh, i think it's better to use at the back okay otherwise it will affect your heart okay and then uh, some of the uh, other point okay if you got time and you want to use it okay you can use it also okay the most important one is uh, near the uh, what we call huh? What is this bone called? Is it, huh? <laughs> okay, from the diagram you can see huh? uh, the, 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 the point is called Yun Men. Uh, okay, and then Zhong Fu, Zhong Fu Xue, and then the Yun Men Xue. So both also are underneath, uh, the, the Yun Men is exactly underneath this bone, uh, okay, at the end here. So normally uh, when we press, uh, you feel a, a bit pain. Uh, okay, and then uh, around two finger down, okay, it's called the zhong fu xue, okay, you can put there also, okay, if you want, okay, because too many points, sometimes very difficult to do one, okay, so sometimes, maybe, uh, we can do some pressing or uh, massage on all, on these points also, okay, if you don't want to use the light, because of four points, are very difficult to use the light or to point on it, so we concentrate uh, on those one point one okay especially at the back there or uh, at the same time when you use at the back with the strap and then you can uh, do some massage okay on this yun men and then the zhong fu xue okay this two xue okay and then uh what we call huh, the yu ji huh, uh there is uh, near your palm here okay which uh normally huh, uh these are the places huh, in reflexology huh, it will affect your lung and then your heart one Okay, so you can massage on this part, okay? Okay, when you do huh, all those things, you've got nothing to do, huh? then you huh, press and then do some massage on that also. And then finally, uh, the Chu San Li, huh? uh, normally this is uh, a very important uh, acupuncture point, okay? Uh, normally, uh, when uh, we have some problem huh, uh, in the liver, okay, and then... Uh, what we call the uh, sun jiao ho, your spleen, okay, and then your your liver, spleen, and then uh, your kidney, okay. Uh, so these three will cross, oh, and then go through this point, what we call the zhu san li xue, oh. uh, you can do it, okay, if you want, oh, just give you some uh, suggestion, okay, uh, they are good for oh, improvement of the lung also, okay, so, uh, some brief uh, explanation on pneumonia and then the asthma and the how to prevent it and how I'm laser uh, and combination of I'm laser and CV8 uh, can do something on that. Okay, so uh, at the back here, I just uh, quickly flip through, okay, what is I'm laser and then what is 
CV8. Okay, I'm going to say uh, actually it's a, a device which combine three uh, therapy. Okay, together there is number one. Okay, we are using uh, the uh, uh, light therapy the photon. Okay, and by using the uh, by penetrating the photon using the laser technology or uh, to penetrate into the body, so the photon of you. You will follow our red blood cells and be carried uh, to the whole body. And then number two, we are using the needle, okay, in the Chinese acupuncture theory. Okay, so uh, the 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 light needle can be used, and then the whole watch can be used because the light is something like the needle is an energy which will penetrate to the acupuncture point, and then uh, it will push. Okay, the uh, qi ho, and uh, circulation of blood uh, in the body, which will eventually lead to a uh, very good effect uh, in improving our health. And then number three, okay, is a uh, magnetic therapy. So it is a medical device approved by FDA, okay, under her uh, 12B category. Uh, uh, and then we get uh, all the certification from the IEC and then FDA, okay, all the uh, uh, IS, uh, ISO, okay, involved. So you can refer to all this, okay, it shows that uh, the effectiveness and then the safety of the medical device, okay, that we have. And then it has been uh, in the market uh, and then carry out experiment uh, for more than 40 years already. Uh, and then most of these are very famous university. They have all kinds of uh, medical journal on the study of the use of the light. Okay. The low level laser therapy. Okay. You can anytime go to Google and you search for low level therapy. You will see uh, a lot of article medical journal uh, on the study of the use of uh, this uh, photon biomodulation uh, research. Okay, so what is happening when I'm laser enter into our body? Okay, the first thing is this photon. Okay, this is the photon which, okay, are equivalent to the red light in the sunlight, uh, which is 650 nanometer, smaller scale of high energy, which the scientists discovered that. Uh, it is uh, the photon in the sun is an energy. It has a very great effect and influence on the enzyme reaction of the human body and the energy production of cells. So now we man-make man huh, uh, the red light, which is 650 nanometer, and use the tech, uh, this, uh, uh, what we call the laser technology, and then it can penetrate, huh, and then the photon can be delivered into our body to uh, the, 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 the blood circulation system. Our, it will attach on the red blood cells. Okay, so just I already mentioned, okay, according to Chinese acupuncture uh, theory, okay, you will feel pain when uh, the meridian is not working smoothly. Uh, you, the pain will relieve, okay, once the meridian uh, is opens up, the pathway is go, uh, is true. So we are using the arm laser, the light to penetrate on the acupuncture point so that uh, it will push Okay, the, uh, the the blood and the chi system inside the body. So you will open some all the acupuncture point and the meridian system, the 14 meridian system will slowly okay, get through. And then once, okay, the pathway is running smoothly, the pain will go away. Okay, this theory uh, in Chinese. And then the third one, uh, magnetic therapy. So magnetic therapy uh, has been studied uh, for uh, many years, many hundred years, uh, especially in Oriental uh, 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 medicine. Okay, China and Japan, they are they have uh, ever uh, this um, study and research and can come up with uh, many book on uh, the benefit uh, of using uh, uh, magnetic therapy. So it's a uh, uh, well known. Uh, on the effect of uh, improving uh, blood circulation, uh, reducing inflammation, and then uh, uh, pain. Okay, so our arm laser, even if you didn't on the uh, switch also, okay, uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, magnetic therapy because uh, static uh, magnet uh, is uh, implanted inside uh, the, the watch there, okay, which will directly uh, give magnetic therapy uh, to the 
blood cells and then to uh, especially when you do target treatment okay uh, the uh, magnetic therapy will give effect uh, to the cells there also okay so this is a function of uh, I'm laser okay especially when you use I'm laser okay the first thing it will produce okay because the photon once it enter into our bloodstream it will activate activating uh, all the enzyme activity or uh, in the bloodstream here which okay will help her uh, to cleanse all the blood cells so that uh, the blood cells are won't attach together like this or uh, this normally uh, when we uh, carry out her test uh, on the blood the live blood test when using arm laser before you use it you see most of the people their their, their blood cell are attached uh, and then uh, very difficult to move sometimes water is insufficient and then after using arm laser for half an hour uh, and then uh, uh drinking uh water okay then finally all the blood cells will open up and then it will run uh, very fast it indicates the flow of the blood will uh, become very good and then you can carry oxygen and then the nutrient supply to the cells will get faster okay in that order okay so this uh, the first uh, is doing so once the photon delivered to the cells okay inside the cells okay there are uh, what there are uh mitochondria which in charge uh in the generating uh energy for the cells okay once the uh light uh, is uh delivered to the cells it will uh, induce the activity of the mitochondria because all the enzyme outside there will be triggered will be uh, uh, uh strengthening okay on the activity and then uh, this process okay will make the mitochondria to to start huh, the what we call the phytomodulation process whereby sunlight oxygen water and nutrient will be used to create okay atp that is the energy that the cell need okay so we are using the light once the light the photon managed to go into the cells then it will strengthening okay the activity of the enzyme okay outside the mitochondria which we call the enzyme cytochrome oxidase so the activity uh, will get very fast and then the mitochondria will begin the process of uh, phytomodulation where we use sunlight oxygen water and nutrient to create energy in the form of atp so the more atp you create the more energy the cell will have okay and then during this process uh, we we manage uh, the the uh, mitochondria manage to produce uh, some substance substances uh, which we call the nitric oxide and then the ros which nitric oxide is a very very strong substances uh, which are uh, will have very good antioxidant effect and then it is helping her to cleanse the blood and then to strengthen the the vessel of the blood cells and then uh, it uh, help a lot okay it maintain a very good uh, blood circulation system so the atp is very important for the cells once the atp or uh, uh, is increased then the cells can function nicely metabolic of the cells is carried out or uh, 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 energy is created and then waste is expelled out from the cells and then we know that the cells make up of all the uh, organs inside the body because we've got so many types of cells we get the neuron cells your white blood cell your your heart cell your bone cells all these cells when they generate more energy they are more active okay then uh, of course all the organs inside the body like your lung your uh, your liver your stomach okay your intestine will improve okay so it will overall improve all the function of all the organs okay inside okay uh, the uh, the whole body as we know all these organs when they coordinate one another they form the system of the body so we have so many systems which need uh, coordination 
okay, with a communication uh, of uh, your nervous system. So uh, by having eye laser and then providing the essential nutrient that the body needs, we should be able to produce a very good neuro system, nervous system, and then a very good hormone system, which in touch in our coordinate, coordinating her with all the uh, system inside the body, okay, like your healing, your immune system, your muscle, your circulation system, all this system can be coordinated in a very harmony and balanced way. And this is the root, okay, which we empower our inner doctor, or uh, there's the, the master uh, controlling all this system, there's your inner doctor. We say the best doctor in the world is your inner doctor. So your inner doctor will use all the benefit, all the power of the, the body to, to do the self-healing every day, okay? When you are in good sleep, okay? During the night, uh, it will uh, coordinate uh, by releasing a proper hormone to communicate within all the system and then to start the repair and then to uh, increase the use of uh, uh, by uh, releasing a growth factor, uh, increase the use of stem cells and together with the uh, stem cell, uh, we provide all the phytochemical okay, that exists uh, in the ginseng, okay, CV8. Then it will finally uh, give all the benefit, okay, and then in the uh, restore, repair, regenerate of cells or inside the whole body. So it will balance up the various body system, and finally, of course, okay, your lung system, okay, your respiratory system will be improved also. So by the use of this I'm laser CV8 together, okay, you should be able or uh, to give you an overall improvement. Okay, and then to increase your inner doctor to have more power to self healing, and then you will be more energetic, and you will be oh, in very high uh, capability of inner health healing, and then a very strong protective because you are having a very good immune system inside your body. Okay, to protect you against any attack of uh, different uh, different types of of virus, bacteria, and fungus. Okay, so there's the use of eye laser. Okay, when uh, you start to begin and brief uh, knowledge on uh, this uh, slightly introduction on this CVA. CVA actually is produced by this uh, uh, organization institute. Uh, we call the CVMGR Institute, which are formed by this uh, Chinese, China Science Academy, okay, Ventures, and then Korea Plantel Institute, and then uh, this uh, Sydney uh, University, okay, with the cooperation uh, uh, with uh, these uh, four parties. Then they come up with a uh, formulation, okay, which we call CV8, where we use... Uh, the technology of uh, this plantel produced by the plant plantel, whereby okay, uh, they have discovered the only and then so far the uh, the first and the only one uh, technique uh, which have been uh, patented in almost eighty six uh, countries mm -hmm. uh, to to derive uh, the stem cells of from this wild ginseng. Uh, because all the while we know the benefit of wild ginseng, but the wild ginseng is too expensive and then it can't uh, uh, to be used as a common raw material to produce uh, in health food or in some uh, a certain area of a medical area because of the value of the wild ginseng. Okay, it's too expensive or sometimes a small pieces of wild ginseng are uh, those above 30, 50 years one now, it will cost you uh, maybe 100 or 1,000, some even if longer time and then uh, a, 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 a higher or in weight, okay, it will cost uh, more money, okay, sometimes it will go to up to million also for one piece of the this, uh, uh, let's say for almost uh, 80 years of uh, wow ginseng, or for example, like CVA, we are using uh, wow ginseng which is 80 years old and then uh, by using the technique from plantel 
which we are able to uh, filter and derive okay the plant the uh, what we call the stem cells of the wild ginseng and we can store yeah, and use the wild ginseng in a very effective way uh, especially how nowadays we are able to actually sorry uh, yeah something okay uh, uh, you can see from here uh, this uh, plantel in Korea. Uh, this is uh, the first and the only one uh, in the earth uh, which has successfully filtered out uh, the uh, lively okay the stem cells from uh, eighty years old uh, wild ginseng okay which are uh, 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 these are uh, CVMGR uh, provided okay and then they produce uh, in an environment which is very high tech and very hygiene and then now they have already uh, established a, a bank plant bank okay in korea and then in shenzhen as well okay so now we are, are able to preserve okay the plant uh, the the stem cells for the uh, wild ginseng and then in a very stable and consistent way we can able to uh, duplicate uh, replicate and then uh, uh, further uh, 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 produce uh, to make it to produce all kinds of uh, uh, valuable uh, ingredient or those ginseng oxide and then uh, the phytochemical that contain or uh, in the uh, uh, this bao ginseng uh, and then produce it in a mass production and high content of phytochemicals we can derive okay by doing this we are now able for example, like one tank of this, okay, is actually derived from one stem cells and then it replicate and then reproduce to make it to be able to produce, okay, the phytochemical which is equivalent to 75,000 pieces of this wow ginseng, the very, very old wow ginseng. So we can produce all those very rare ginseng oxide, only the wow ginseng which is very old one uh, they can produce. So by using the stem cell from all this very old wild ginseng, they are able to produce all this valuable ginseng oxide. So we are now can get uh, uh, all this raw material in a, a cheaper way, okay, in the mass production of, for example, like this RG3, RGPH3, APP3, uh, all the ginseng oxide, RG5, they are good in improving blood circulation okay uh, improving your uh, liver function and then uh, strengthening your immune system and then they are anti cancer also and like ph3 uh, appd they are good in uh, fighting against all those brain problems like eczema okay parkinson okay and then like rg5 it can you uh, increase all the activity of your brain function uh, and then fight against uh, diabetic okay and then uh, improve your liver liver fun liver uh, function or uh, it can uh, really suppress okay the uh, c type of uh, hepatitis and then it improve uh, emotional problem also because it give uh, uh, the release of certain uh, good happy uh, hormone in the brain also and then rh2 and rk1 are especially strong or uh, in anti-aging and uh, in anti-cancer okay or uh, anti-diabetic okay improve blood circulation and anti-inflammation okay and then uh they are good huh, in suppressing the growth of uh uh, casinogen cells uh, inside the body by cutting uh, uh, the growing of the uh, uh, worser to attach to the ca casinogen cells, abnormal cells, so that uh, to cut down the supply of nutrient to the cells and then eventually it will die off because of uh, didn't get the nutrient okay, from our system. So these are some other phytochemical which will uh, produce uh, by uh, this uh, uh, raw uh, from this uh, uh, ginseng, okay, all the uh, OPC, okay, they are very strong in uh, uh, phy those phytochemical, and then uh, 
the uh, good heart, like uh, all the uh, amino acid and then all the uh, essential uh, fatty acid, which will help uh, in the combat of uh, inflammation, okay, and then improving uh, the, uh, the uh, immune system, okay, and then against uh, uh, oxidation. So they are doing very, very good job uh, in pr protecting her. Uh, this thing, especially or in the antioxidant, and then providing all this rare ingredient, the ginseng oxide, which uh, it will help her to improve uh, the uh, lifespan of the cells also. Okay. Uh, so beside that, okay, CV also contain uh, cipatone, which uh, will provide us uh, all types of uh, vitamins and minerals. Okay, and then uh, aronia fruits which are very high in antioxidant, uh, will give very good uh, support uh, on the uh, circulation system, our pulmonary heart and uh, lung okay, system. And then finally, uh, the uh, uh, promogenin, uh, which will provide uh, multi-minerals, multi-vitamins, and then a very good uh, uh, anti-aging and anti-inflammation. Uh, property inside there. So with the combination of these three very, very powerful antioxidant uh, fruits, okay, and uh, cipaton, uh, I don't know whether cipaton is considered a fruit or not, okay. Uh, so from here, you can see anti antioxidant huh, is very, very high, and then the nutrient and then the minerals, all we need are uh, already supplied. Okay, inside the CBA, only the quantity, okay, uh, that the body need maybe uh, uh, is not uh, uh, equivalent to what we need. But uh, if, okay, we are uh, proper in our three meal and then we are uh, uh, scared that we are short or deficiency in certain nutrient, then you will definitely uh, get all this nutrient uh, from CBA because it includes all the nutrients that the body needs by uh, the combination of cipaton, erroneo fruit, and then the promulgate fruits, as well as the wow ginseng stem cells and the phytochemical it produce. Okay, so by having the use of uh, CVA and then the, the use of arm laser, we should be able to help the body, especially to produce a very high antioxidant uh, effect, okay, which Okay, definitely it will, uh, uh, from the study, it shows that it will prolong, okay, and then you slow down the process of the uh, aging, okay, on the cells, so the cell can split longer by her. Uh, this is called, what is the English one we call it here? Teronin, teronin. I forgot, I did very sorry, huh? uh, Chinese, huh? Uh, we call the tuan di, huh? the tuan di, uh, okay, uh, of the cells in the DNA there, okay, it can renew, uh, re Talonia. replace. This is Talonia. Uh, uh, Talonia. Uh, Talonia. Uh, I forgot the, okay, so it will improve, okay, improve it, okay, to, huh, to prolong the, the lifespan of the cells. So uh, it will give a very, very good effect huh, in prolong our life also. So that uh, the cells uh, can split uh, more times until we reach the maximum of 125 years and not like now, uh, this pre-aging is happening. Okay, so our cells uh, cannot live uh, uh, until uh, that long. Uh, so it will stop and uh, because of the, the, the DNA there uh, uh, cannot be replaced and then they are attacked uh, or damaged. Okay, and then it causes the cells uh, to die before it's age, okay, then we call the pre-aging uh, is happening. So we live up to 70 something, 80 only, then the, the cells uh, cannot uh, split already, then we will die, okay, in that case. So it will help a lot, okay, by providing uh, a very strong, uh, this uh, protection against all the cells. And then number two, help improve overall immunity uh, because the ginseng oxide and then the ginseng polysaccharides uh, are the active components uh, of uh, ginseng to regulate immune function and are an immune enhancer. So activate the proliferation of bone marrow cells also enhance this uh, uh, by uh, uh, 
the effect of uh, I'm laser uh, and then uh, the ginseng oxide, uh, it will help uh, the he hem hematopoietic ability. That means the production of the cells of the uh, what we call the uh, red blood cell and then the white blood cell and then the killer cell. Uh, uh, will get uh, better and then more active and then it improves the overall immune system. Okay, so these are the ginseng oxide which will help uh, in anti-cancer. Okay, and then of course, just I already mentioned, uh, it will help uh, the overall function of all the body system so that uh, it can, especially your nervous system and the, your neuron and then your hormone system, which are uh, the very important agent to communicate uh, with all other systems so that uh, all the systems uh, can work uh, in a very harmony and balanced way okay so uh, and then it will promote very good sleep and improve cell repair ability because when you sleep deeply uh, so all, all the growth factors uh, will start to release start to instruct and work together okay with your stem cells or uh, inside the body and then it will start uh, to do all the healing and then your your liver uh, will start to begin to filter all your blood okay to make sure to do all the cleanse when you sleep nicely and then all the ginseng oxide uh, will try to balance up your blood sugar also okay and then uh, uh, it can act uh, as an uh, insulin effect okay on the blood okay so it will help uh, your the release of your uh, uh, pressure Okay, this, the, the, uh, what we call uh, the activity or uh, the workload of your insulin because the ginseng oxide, okay, will have a very good regulating effect on blood, uh, sugar level. Okay, it can normalize the disorder metabolic process, stimulate the islet of the pancreas and produce normal amount of insulin. Okay, so this is a function of the ginseng oxide. Okay, so it will help a lot uh, on your pancreas, on your glucose level also. So eventually we knew that uh, it will vary uh, the effect of I'm laser and then uh, the uh, nitric oxide and then some of the uh, uh, ingredient antioxidant property inside the CV8 will give you very clean blood flow and then it promote our blood circulation so that the oxygen and then the nutrient that you have taken in can be delivered to all the cells in a very very fast fast speed okay and then you can see uh, after using and before using, sometimes after uh, one month of using, uh, normally when we run the uh, blood test, you will see uh, mostly all those people who are using eye laser, they will have a very nice okay, blood uh, uh, condition, like blood. Uh, uh, they will open up and then they will flow uh, uh, very uh, easily. And then it will help, uh, of course, reducing your blood, uh, 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 what we call uh, viscosity of your blood and reduce your blood pressure. Oh, okay, and then just now I've already mentioned uh, the uh, promote the growth factors, enhance stem cell function. So these are very important steps with the combination of the use of an laser and then the stem cells, uh, ginseng stem cells. You would be able uh, to activate uh, the the uh, the function of the stem cell in our cells, accelerate the repair and production of cells inside the body. So the regenerate of cells uh, will be faster. And then finally, from the inner repair, and then you go to the outer. Okay, change whitening and spot remover, fat reduction, wrinkle remover, and slimming beauty effect of slowly uh, show from the outside and if you further want to further and then speed up okay the improvement on the skin texture okay remove all uh, the whitening effect and then the spot remover then you can add in cmc serum which is derived okay from the uh, uh, ginseng stem cells also uh, we, we add in okay a uh, very special ingredient uh, for the uh, skin okay uh, to moisturize the skin, to uh, to uh, bring a good effect on water uh, holding or on the skin, firming of the muscle, okay, on the skin, on the face, and then it will give you a very bright, okay, and very uh, ram, uh, what what we call uh, smooth, okay, and then all the fine line, huh? 
uh, will disappear after a period of time. Uh, when you apply the serums together with the use of eye laser and CVA. Okay, so the use of the whole uh, package will give you very good effect from inner health, okay, up to or oh, your outside to the outside, okay. So regain youthfulness is not a dream. Create a brand new you, from inner health to external appearance, okay. So not only you can improve your lung function, okay, prevent or uh, your lung, okay. In the long term use, you can regain youthfulness and then uh, you can restore. Okay, create a brand new you, okay, from inner health and to external appearance. Okay, that's all. Okay, I can share for today. Okay, it take me exactly. Huh? So I leave. Okay. So facilitator. Okay, your turn. <laughs> I give I give some time, okay, for you all to ask, even though it's already 10, 10 30. Huh? So because uh, when once once explanation uh, in English uh, it tends to take more time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>